we uh, invited a very special guest, a 10-year-old uh, Siavuya Mapetre, who has written a book called Enough, Stop Bullying. And she joins us now to discuss her book and uh, to talk about this very important issue of uh, bullying. So thank you so much for coming this morning, Siavuya, and uh, Siavuya, that you are here. Good morning. Good morning. So talk to us about, you know, the book that you wrote. What inspired you to write this book? What inspired me to write this book is that bullying is like a big problem. It's a topical issue globally and locally. And I really wanted to write this book because, you know, bullying is like a very big problem. Right? Kids end up killing themselves because of it. And it's, hor it's horrible to lose innocent lives, you know, because they're being bullied and they can't take it anymore. And secondly, kids are the future. If we keep on killing ourselves, what's going to happen? There's not going to be any future. Who's going to take over the government? Who's going to be the new president? Who's going to run this big business or anything else? And I wrote this book because knowledge is power. If a kid reads a maths equation like 1 plus 1, of course everyone knows what 1 plus 1 is, and it's going to stay in their mind for a very long time, you know? So if they read this book, they're going to know the signs of bullying, different types of bullying, and all sorts of things, because they read this book and the knowledge is stuck in their mind. You know, and, and you're so right, uh, because it, it is a problem. And unfortunately, in some instances, it does lead to people taking their lives. And we see all sorts of different types of bullying today. But, you know, as we watch that insert, uh, one of the learners said that bullying starts even at preschool, you know, a as far back as you can think, there's bullying. So have you ever encountered any sort of bullying um, in your schooling career or elsewhere, Siawea? Um, no, my, <clears throat> sorry, no, my school is a very good place, there's no bullying, if there ever is bullying, someone will report it, but I've never been bullied, kids try to bully me, but they end up failing because I'm able to stand up to, for myself and just say, no, I don't want to be bullied, what you're doing is wrong, and you know, you're doing something that you're not supposed to do, but you know, where I so bullying is on news and on radio because it doesn't happen at my school it it happens at other places not just here in Johannesburg it, ha it happens everywhere Cape Town Pretoria so that's where like I first saw how bad bullying is because I used to think bullying was just saying hey you look weird with that outfit or something like that but I realized it's not just saying rude things it's not just verbal bullying it's actually physical bullying and more sorts of stuff like that so for some kid who perhaps is feeling that they are being picked on they're not quite sure what is going on they don't quite have the vocabulary to address what's happening to them mm. how would you describe to them uh, what bullying is first and foremost and also how do they identify the bullies around them well, it, it says here in my book, on the first page, chapter one, it shows you the signs of bullying. It's, if you're not, you know, familiar with bullying and stuff and you don't know about it, it does explain the types of bullying. So you get to know it more. And so you get to know, like, what's happening with you. It also says here cyberbullying, which is cyberbullying on social media, on the phones, that, you know, bullying on devices. It also has social bullying, which you're getting bullied by um, your culture. Like, if you're Muslim, you have to wear a hijab or, you know, any sorts of culture. Um, physical bullying, which is punching and, you know, giving like making physical contact with that person. It also has um, verbal bullying, which is saying rude things to that person, like you're ugly and all sorts of rude stuff. I don't mean that, I would never say that. And then it has sexual bullying. So it, on the first page, it just gives you like an example of that type of bullying and stuff like that. And then how do they identify the bullies around them? How, how, what should children look out for? It's also something that you discuss in the book. 
Well, um, what children should look out for is that you should be more aware and like see the attitude of kids because you know some kids are kind and nice but then there's a difference between there's another child who's rude and mean and if you see that child is picking on you and saying rude things to you or being mean or threat like saying um giving you a threat saying that i might punch you after school if you don't give me your tuck money um, you can identify, because here it says in the book, it also explains types of bullying. So if you read it, you'll see that that person is bullying you, and that's the type of bullying that they're doing. So it means that they are bullying you, and it, it shows the behavior, you know. Mm. So you mentioned to us that you're fortunate that at your school they seem to have this under control so that there's no bullying that takes place. And, you know, it's very clear that you have a clear understanding of what to do, how to identify it, and there are clear processes to follow should someone feel that they are being bullied. But for those in the school who perhaps do not have uh, those processes outlined, what should they do? What should someone do if they feel that they are being bullied? What I think they should do is if they actually feel they're being bullied and they can see that they're actually being bullied, report it. Because if you, if, you, if you can see that that person is doing something that is wrong and which makes it bullying, then report it. Because some kids, they don't report it because they're not sure. And then they wait and then they wait and then they see that this person is punching them or it's, it's getting even worse because they, they were waiting for so long that it ended up getting worse. And now that you see they're actually bullying you and they're starting to hurt you in any sort of type of bullying, you know. But I advise to report it. If, if you're not being bullied and you see that someone is being bullied, report it. If you're being bullied, report it. Because, you know, if you just say, I'm being bullied, like if you keep quiet, you know, and then if like you keep quiet, right? And you don't tell anyone that you're being bullied. It's, it's gonna get more like serious, you know? They're gonna start bo bossing you around and making you the little puppy, picking up the trash for them and all sorts of stuff. So if you're being bullied, you can report it as soon as you see it or it's being done to you. And just finally, what should others do? If you see someone being bullied, what should you do? Well, I saw, sometimes when I'm watching the news, I see people, they record videos. Recording videos is a good thing, but don't just sit there and record and laugh because you don't know what's going to happen next. You might find the next day they're dead and they, they don't want to be alive anymore and it's too late. And you might regret that because you might say, why didn't I show this to the principal? The, the guy who was, the person, the guy or the girl who was bullying that person should have been expelled or uh, um, suspended by that time. So it is good to take videos, but like take a video and then run and report it to the principal or anyone, any teacher that's near you. Because if you just watch them being bullied and you can see that it's, it's any type of bullying, then just go and report it as soon as you see it. Because mm. if you just leave it like that, then what's going to happen? You don't know what's going to happen next, you, you know? Indeed. And, and that's the problem. Well, I tell you what, I am super proud of you. And you really give one hope. For the future and thank you so much for stopping by i know you still have to go to school so thanks so much for waking up early and making this stop first now i don't know about you but i certainly am inspired and uh, her book is called enough stop bullying and uh, uh, the guest that we had this morning is of course 10 years old siavuya um, Mapetre, and she is the author of this book and uh, trying to get other children to know, identify and of course stop the bullying all round. So let us know what your views are on this at Morning Live SABC.